My name is Tanya Regna with Western Computer, and today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to convert a case to a work order and schedule a resource in just a few clicks. So what you'll notice on the screen is we're looking at a case from our client, Clifton Fine Central School, and they reported that the air conditioner is blowing hot air. We could notice that they've identified the product and that the phone call came in reporting it. Obviously, this is something we want to send a technician on site for, so we're going to go ahead and convert this to a work order. Just with the click of a button, we can convert it to a work order, and then this will go to my dispatch team to schedule a resource to go on site. All of the information will map over, and we'll see the details of the work order and additional information that we may need. I can see that this was generated through a case. And I can see that this is a diagnose and repair, and then it's a currently unscheduled. By clicking the button book, I can go ahead, pull up my schedule board, and assign a resource right away. You'll notice that due to the work order type, we have some characteristics that are automatically pre-populating. And so because this was an air conditioning issue, we noticed that there's an HVAC skill required going to go ahead and schedule Diane and I can see that Diane is available anytime between August 1st and August 6th. I can also see that this work order should take about two and a half hours. So I'm going to schedule Diane for August 3rd at 8 a.m. We can schedule an estimated arrival time if she needs to be on site sooner and it automatically will populate the end time going to go ahead and book an exit. It will identify that the booking was created successfully. And we'll notice that down below, the booking has now been generated. We will also be able to see that a booking alert was sent to Diane, letting her know that she's been scheduled on this job.